the end of last year's exams, we asked on TikTok what you should know if you're doing your exams this year. And so here's a summary of all the most popular responses we got in the form of three mistakes you should avoid doing. The first mistake you should avoid doing this year is only using your textbook to study. Although reading your textbook can give you a great general understanding of a topic, that information is not going to stick into your long-term memory. Instead, you should use active studying methods such as making mind maps and going through past exam paper questions. The best study methods are always the ones that involve testing yourself on what you already know. An active study method that particularly helped me when I did my junior cycle exams was actually using mnemonic devices. A mnemonic device is basically a short phrase that helps you to recall a large chunk of information. For example, if you want to learn the planets without Pluto, then a mnemonic device for this is My very educated mother just served us noodles. And remember that the more creative you are in making your mnemonic devices, the more likely they are to stick into your head. Reading your textbook is a passive study method, whereas making mind maps, doing past exam paper questions, and using mnemonic devices are all active study methods, which will help you to retain information a lot easier than just reading your textbook. The second mistake you might be making is only highlighting your definitions as a form of learning them. Definitions are a huge part of many junior cycle subjects, and you just can't get away with not knowing them. Although highlighting can make it easier for you to find definitions when you're looking back over your notes and over your textbook, it's not a very effective way to actually get that information to stick into your head. Instead, I'd recommend using flashcards to study your definitions. The process of making flashcards is an active study method because you're writing out your definitions onto little cards, but also when you go over those cards as often as possible, you're really making that information stick. That all being said, if you don't want to make your own flashcards, we have loads available on the StudyClick site for free. I'll leave a link down below. And the last mistake you should avoid doing is leaving all of your study to the last minute. You've probably already heard people say that the junior cycle exams are a marathon and not a sprint. You won't get very far by just cramming a load of information the night before your exams. Instead of cramming, you should instead focus on building a study habit as early as possible. Even doing an extra half an hour of study every other day can help you to build up this habit and will mean that you won't be as overwhelmed when the exams come around. This is especially relevant for maths, which is a subject you can't cram the night before your exams. And anyways, you'll probably learn a lot more by spacing out your study than just cramming the night before your exam. Those are all of the most popular responses we got on TikTok, but I'd also like to add that one mistake you might do this year is being too hard on yourself. For a lot of you, the junior cycle exams are the first proper school exams that you've ever taken, so it's only natural that you might make a few mistakes or that you might feel a little bit stressed out. So my best advice for this year is to be really kind to yourself, take plenty of breaks, and also if things get too overwhelming, make sure to talk to somebody about it. Your guidance counselor and your teachers will be happy to help you out but they can't help you if you don't ask for it. If you have any questions relating to study feel free to leave them down below. I really hope this helps and best of luck with the studying.